All right, we're gonna try to patch this up, flip the rod over. But when I pulled the rod off, the uh, bearing was smoked, both halves. So I'm gonna have to pull it apart and uh, definitely put a bigger oil pump in it and see what's going on in there. So uh, let's pull this one apart. I figured I'd let the camera roll. And, uh, having a good day today. Still got that big ton of footage. Gotta get that up. Regular nuts. No oil pump nuts. either just regular nuts no ceiling crazy town funny thing is the place that I built this motor probably wouldn't even give me a job so you probably think the way that I do it's wrong I had spring washers under the pump cover or on the pump cover never seen that before pump out of here. We won't be using this again. It's uh, way too small. It's like, uh, wow, super small. Super small pump there. Really uh, very inefficient. Take that out of there. It's uh, some crazy brand. I don't know. Gonna zip our strainer plate off next. So let's do that. And then we'll be ready to separate our case halves and inspect the inside of this bad boy.
transmitter's got some bearing material on it. Nice strainer. Okay, so this time I like to go around the case one more time, make sure I got all my nuts. Check the eights. Looks good, looks good. Let's go ahead and split the halves. Go ahead and deploy the lifter tools just in case the uh, cam and lifters are good. We'll keep the lifters in the proper positions. These are the lifter clips. You can make these out of coat hangers or you can buy these from Bug Pack or Scat. Good idea to have these on hand. Especially if you're in the freshening and you're stuff up and you want to use your lifter over. So here we go. Gently going to put a little pressure right here. Crank, break the seal. Pull up on the back. side loose. Oh man, I don't know. They can use this big slit they put in over here. Oh. Sometimes. thing we do is pull our cam out and pull that out it's a early model flat cam which is surprising the dishes are the late model cams and what I mean by dished is you'll see how this one is got four rivets this one has three and a flat gear that's a early model cam all your aftermarket cam shafts will have employ a flat cam also Got to pull the pistons off the other side, you can't pull the crank out. You can see this cam bearing. I've never seen a cam bearing completely wiped out like that to the copper. But uh, <clears throat> that's the thrust. That's from proper, not properly fitting the uh, cam in there. That obviously didn't turn very well when they bolted this case together. And uh, you can see the back is also copper on the cam bearing. Now if you ever see one of these and you're building the motor, let me see if I can get this out of here for you so I can identify it for you. That's probably ruined the case. Hopefully not though. Now these are the uh, cam plugs that they sell at the uh, store. And you just want to throw that away as soon as you see one of those gold cam plugs because they're too damn big for the back of the engine. So we'll be putting the OEM cam plug back in there and uh yeah lifters don't look too bad the cam bearings are shot that's our oil pressure loss right there and uh <clears throat> we'll get the crank out look at the rear bearing you can see where it's been squirming around you can see the aluminum on it so hopefully uh the thrust looks pretty good we'll check the line bore probably go with a new set of bearings in here obviously a new oil pump, some new cam bearings, and we might put a little cam in this because she wanted a little pep. So uh, it's turned out to be a, a freshen, and uh, I didn't want to do it, but obviously it has some issues. 
Here's the other side. Give you a quick look at this half. You can see we're in the copper back here in the cam bearing. And uh, same here. The cam was very tight in there. You can see all the, the places it was binding. It's copper. So these are the aluminum bearings, which I don't care for. You can see why I don't care for them. You can, I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me uh, pull the bearing out and show it to you. Uh, the bearing is galled up. And uh, this is what happens with these bearings when they get hot. They don't have the integrity to uh, hold up in any kind of heat situation. The case feels pretty decent. But this bearing has no weight to it at all. And uh, it's a standard. And you can see the, uh, the surface of the bearing where the crank's trying to grab it. You know, when the bearing heats up, the aluminum uh, obviously has a much lower melting temperature than the uh, crankshaft. And if you lose any kind of film contact with the oil, then you have bearing failure. And uh, that's exactly what we've had here. So <clears throat> we'll get some new bearings, wash this all up and uh, make sure the motor rotates this time properly and get a better oil pump and uh, all that stuff basically a rebuild freshen up and i did figure out that these piston cylinders are 87 so this is a 1641 not a 1600 and uh, i really don't like 1641s because the cylinder gets compromised when it gets hot doesn't have enough integrity to hold up and keep the ring sealed so that's where we're at got something going on with the timing gear here it feels very sharp uh, i think they probably had a, a probably a mess issue with the gear they might have taken a plus or a minus and they just left it and that's why they had all this wear here so somebody wanted to know the age of this motor and i saw a stamp in it it was 1010 i don't know if that was the first time it was built or when it was warrantied last uh, another thing that i've noticed here is there's no seals in the uh, on the studs no seals no seals uh, there's a seal that goes there and you really should employ the seal there because uh uh, it has a lot to do with the way the case sits and uh, the case has to go together and that could very well be the reason that this is pinched so tight there. So anyway, basically we're going to degrease it, clean it up, and uh, we'll go back with the reassembly. And I'll try to get you guys on that video too. So let me let you guys go. Hope you enjoyed that little teardown and uh, you guys have a goody-goody.